Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to unlock VBA project that means all these modules which get stored in the excel macro workbook that is what we are going to see now so in order to do that I am just creating a blank workbook and I am going to develop a tab visual basic I am just inserting a module and I am just typing something some modules so some sub subroutines like um, dim is integer print i so i just uh, let's say debug.print okay so i have created a subroutine and the subroutine is get stored in the module one and i'm going to save this uh, macro workbook first in this location Excel I'm just saving it as macro enable the workbook and I'm just naming this as protector save so this gets saved and now I'm going to lock it with a strong password tools VBA project properties go to protection tab and check mark this lock project for viewing and I'm going to give this strong password I'm just copy pasting the strong password and click on OK and I'm saving this sheet let us confirm once again whether it is properly locked or not go to the developer tab yeah it's prompting a password which means it's successfully locked so now we are going to see how to unlock this uh, macro enable the workbook but before that don't try to use this trick to open any copyrighted macro workbook just use this trick only if you forget the password of your own macro code this is a, just a request from my end so before unlocking that just make a copy of this uh, sheet I just make a copy of this sheet protected its uh, file name is protected copy and uh, I'm changing it something else like test and now change the format file format from Excel SM to zip if you're not able to see this file format go to organize folder and search option and go to the view tab and here you will you have to uncheck hide extension for known file type if you uncheck that then you can able to see the file format otherwise it will show only the file name so now change the file format from excel sm to zip it will prompt you that if you change the file name extension the file might become unstable are you sure you want to change it go ahead with s yes. so now you need to it's changed from excel sm format to zip format you have to unzip it extract all i just want to extract inside the folder test so this got extracted inside uh, this folder here after extracting the macro workbook you will find a three folder followed by an xml file go to the excel folder and here you will find vbproject.bin you have to open this with a hexa editor you have to install the hexa editor on your machine so just right click and open with hex editor this will open you are a bin file in hexadecimal format you have to search a text called a dpb and just make sure that you have uh, enabled this text string that is you have marked this text string and uh, type the word dpb and click on ok it will find and show the word dpb here and you have to change the dpb to dpx or something else and go to file save and close this one now come back again so this is where all your extracted files are uh, saved just select all and unzip it make sure that you have also included this dot xml file go to summon zip or send to just make zip it and give any name as unlocked now 
we just selected all these things and make it as one zip file after that you have to change the file format from zip to xls it will again prompt you that if you change the file name extension file might become unstable go ahead with s yes. so just make sure that you have changed the format to xls not to xlsm open this one it will ask you some uh, message we want to open the file now click on yes the project contain invalid key continue loading the project go ahead with yes now go to the developer tab visual basic some unexpected error will be displayed don't bother about that error now you cannot able to see the module what you have to do is go to tools and VBA project properties click on the protection and uncheck the lock project for viewing and click on OK close it and close this one don't forget to save the changes now go back and open the same file again it will ask you the password go to the developer tab visual basic and here it's now you can able to see the code which gets stored in the module one so you have successfully unlocked your macro enable worksheet and from here you can copy the code and make use of this thank you for watching this video please subscribe